last week we've done the um, the internet on the on the catamaran what internet we need and why we need internet so tonight or this week we're going to cover the lithium battery systems You might have noticed at the end of our videos that we have a little logo leading to us loving Wonderlust. Well that is Frick's brother, his wife and their two little kids. Yeah, so the two little kids, they are five years and seven years old, so they're going through backpacking through Asia, homeschooling, you know, all of those, those intricacies that goes along with a family that's backpacking on a budget. So we will have the link appearing somewhere here that you can go to their website or their, 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 their vlog. And um, yeah, so you can click over and watch what they're doing. And we've received very good news. They're also going to be buying a, hopefully a catamaran. I think it's going to be a catamaran with all the kids. And they're also going to start sailing. Yeah, so we actually heard from them that, they, that we are planning now together after they said yes, they want to start looking into this. So we're planning to get together, just so the two, two vlogs will actually come together in Cape Town when our boat is launched around September, we will go for our license and then they will also do their skipper's license. Yeah, our maiden voyage is gonna be with awesome family. We've, uh, you've seen in one of our movies as well that we've done four by fouring and safariing and everything together. So this is going to be super awesome for them to join us on our maiden voyage as well. Okay, which brings us to this week's topic. Um, all our drones, our cell phones, video cameras, laptops, everything needs to be charged. So what, how are we going to do this one? So first of all, there's two voltage systems on a boat. The first one is a 220 volt that everyone I think uh, knows by now that you can just plug into a wall socket and you charge your video camera or you charge your drone you switch on the washing machine and everything just works um, you go to the stove and and it just works in not in Malawi but in most cases it does work <laughs> okay so this is getting us to the charging system how are we gonna do that okay so first of all again <laughs> for the 220 220 volt there are two systems that generally has been used and um, the ones just covered now I think just this week's episode I covered amped up so there's a link for them so you can go over to that but there's two things the one is a shore power and the other one is a generator that we have and there's a DC system as well what about that Okay, so the DC system, um, that runs off the, the battery system. So you get 12 volt direct current, which is not alternative current. So that is coming and so the boat has two systems, the 220 volt and the DC system. And the DC system is mainly run from the batteries. And in our case, we are going to, from the start, going to switch over to lithium batteries. How do we charge the lithium batteries? Hmm, very good question. <laughs> So again, there's a lot of um, ways to charge the batteries. The one way, of course, that normal people know about is the alternators of a car that's charging the car battery. So we will have the, the port side and the starboard side engines that are actually charging with the alternators, the batteries. They will first start charging the, 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 the engine batteries to start up the engines and also starting start charging <laughs> the generator battery which is also very important so that that one is filled up and then it will start charging our house batteries so that's the first method the second method of course is with the generator itself so then we need to have also a mechanism to take that 220 volt and put it into our batteries and also of course the shore power to convert that to 12 volt and also put that into the batteries now there's one additional system that we can do, and that is solar systems. I think if you if you just click over to the ones, you will also see that they actually have 
lots of solar power and nowadays charge and then also they have a lot of other videos where they show whether parallel or series and things like that is working or not working in the shadows. Um, so we're going to use that. Another alternative method is also the hydro charges, which we, well, for, for a start, we're not going to go into that. Although I think our catamaran is equipped or um, structured in, space, yeah, so it has a structure that we can actually mount any of these um, hydro charges so onto it. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. We don't have a sugar scoop, and that's why oh, we can actually do that. Okay. So that is one one other way. Okay, so how do we get all these things together? Okay, so this is now where it's getting very interesting because I was also thinking the same thing. How do we get all these things together? Because one is DC, one is AC, <laughs> one is 220 volt, other one is 12 volt, and in the solar panels is a wide, yeah, <laughs> wide variety of things. So let us start with, with the generator and the shore power, which is 220. That just can go directly into the 220 socket. So socket. if we have uh, a 220, like a washing machine that's using 220, mm. you just plug it in, switch it on, it works. If you put a microwave in a 220, switch it on, it works. So no that problem. comes from then the generator and the shore power. But if we don't have the generator switch on and if we don't have the shore power, then we need to use it from the batteries. And that has been then going through an inverter system. So I've been looking at all the inverter systems. And there's two systems, basically, that can do all of these things. One of it is Mastervolt, and the other one is Victron. Mm. So, and just for, for, for the record, <laughs> we've not been paid by any of these guys yeah. to say what we <laughs> found. We just did the research on our own. And we've not been paid for the anchors, we've not been paid by... Le oh, Leopard Catamaran gave us some photos that we can use on the thumbnail. So all the <laughs> thumbnail photos that you see is from Leopard Catamaran. I think that's the only sponsor that we got. So at this moment we have no sponsorship. So it's just plain common what we research and what we found. So um, the, the, the two systems, these two systems, they can actually do the full complete system. They run, they work with the chargers, they work with the inverters, the 220 volt, the DC volt. And because we're working with lithium systems, the lithium systems is very particular. So the lithium systems, um, if you're aware of that, has little cells. Say, for example, we have now got these four cells inside one of the 12 volt batteries. If we just put the positive here and a negative there and we charge it, then maybe this one is charged and that one is charged and maybe one of them Always the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so luckily it's not that side of the hand. So if this one is not charged and it dies, then these ones will actually not see this one and it will, the whole battery will just die. So if you don't protect the individual cells, then you will get into a problem. You can even get into a fire hazard problem. So you need to have, uh, they call it a battery management system. And oh. this is why lithium batteries is a little bit difficult and tricky to charge. So the battery management system of these individual batteries is actually making sure that all the individual all cells are charged simultaneously and equally. And when they discharge, they've been discharged simultaneously Simultane and equally. That makes so, sense. Yeah. Then no, no, no one has been favored or something like that, <laughs> <laughs> resulting no in a very... fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, resulting in a wrong one on this side of the hand. So <laughs> we can work on this side of the hand. So that is a thing with a battery management system and, and Victron and Mastervolt, both of them is to giving a very okay, good okay. battery system that can actually charge all of this. And the winds also talked about another battery system which you can also look at and that is working as well. So from our side, I looked at the Mastervolt and I looked at the Victron mm -hmm. system and it just appeared to me as if the Victron, Victor, Victron system is a little bit more up to speed with regards to technology and also with regards to the, the times, so how they use it to like the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi to interface with each one of them. And also they can interface to our Axiom Pro system that is actually on the alum. So we can see from the alum what is the battery state of all of these these issues. That's awesome. That is very awesome. That's awesome. So and, and so the, all of that can be controlled even from your cell phone, it can be seen on oh. your tablets, it can be seen on, on, on the computers that we have. So we at any time, at any moment, we can even do it via internet, we can monitor oh. all of these things. 
So when we're not on the boat. Even when we're not on the boat. So if we go awesome. visit our family, we can actually then also see Check it from internet the with our system. But normally if you go on those long roads, <laughs> you disconnect everything. So if you see in a diagram that we have there, you will see that we have now the solar system, the alternator system, the battery management system, the shore power, all of that connected to each other. So you have the two things. One is to charge, to control the charge of the batteries and also to actually give the power back, back. to the inverter which then will convert it into the 220 volts that we need also on the boat. Okay, next question. How many batteries and where are we going to store them? They're quite heavy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, if you look at the 300 amp for example, um, oh, first of all we need to look where the battery compartment is, right? So in the picture you can see the, battery, the, the compartment on the Leopard 45 and this compartment uh, is um, 978 millimeters long, 635 meters wide and 533 millimeters deep. And this information I actually got from our Leopard 45 group. Awesome support in the Leopard 45 <laughs> group, owners group. Very good support. So in there we can store at the most three 300 amp uh, Victron batteries. So, but <laughs> the problem is one of those batteries is weighing 51 kilograms. kilograms. <laughs> I said heavy. <laughs> it's very heavy. So, yeah, we need to look, consider that yeah. as well. So, three of them is then 153 kilograms together. Um, in American terms or English terms, that's 112 pounds. That's a lot of, I don't know. I think it's a lot. A lot, lot. <laughs> of butter. <laughs> yeah, a lot of battery. A one pound battery is like, yeah. 112 Little one pound battery squares. Square, so. <laughs> then if you look at the 100 amps batteries, they are far less, manage, much more manageable, 18 kilogram. But if we use five, five of them, then we will have um, 500 amps. But it looks like that compartment, we can double it up. So we can have a layer at the bottom and a layer on top. So if we have two of them, then we can have 10 batteries, which then will bring us to 1,000 amps. So this is what we are thinking of using. We need to find the space and make sure the space can be there. So And the weight equally divided. Yeah, and the total weight will be 90 kilograms times 2 is 180 kilograms, but it's easier to handle the 18 kilograms. That's going to be difficult for me to pick up a 53 kg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. no, 51. How do we charge with solar? Okay, so the solar, um, from what I've seen, we have two options. The one option is the sun wave. Um, things that, as we've seen in the video that we did on the Cape Town boat show. So that's one of them. And the size is just about the size and they give 100, 100 watt panels. Uh, and if you can look at the diagram, you will see that we can place five of them on, on a port side and we can place five of them on a starboard side. So the idea of the port side and starboard side is that we want to actually then, if the, the sails is up the shade. and the sun is this side, then one side of the boat will actually get the sun and the other side will be cut In down. The shade, yeah. And the other way, the vi vi vice versa. So we want to actually try and do that, to sail right on the one side, as far as way as possible from the sails and the mast, we want to put five panels and on the other side also five panels. So those five panels and we can even group them up into little more clusters. So the more clusters you have, if one cluster dies then the other clusters can actually continue. And it's very easy as you saw from the other videos that we just like the winds. If you put some shade that whole cluster basically dies. So we want to have a couple of clusters that can actually continue while this shade is on one or two of the clusters. So this is the idea. So we have a port side cluster and the starboard side cluster. So the other option that we have is Solbain, it's an Italian company. Mm. So the Italian company actually can give us also, but they give 144 watts per solar panel, so they will give us m more um, power. So when we approach Victran, they actually told us that yes, and we can do that, but we need to cluster it into two separate uh, MPPTs. <laughs> <laughs> multi point pa multi power point tracking something like that so 
what this device is is doing they track the sun as it goes over and it will take the oh. most energy out of it so if there's more volts you can get more amperes out of it if there's less volts you can get less amperes so oh. they will try to get the most amperes out of it so this is it so we will have them in the two series for now and we put them into parallel and then depends on which one dies we'll always have at least a charging system charging, yeah. so yeah. that is how that will work okay, how do you put bring everything together how mm -hmm. does it fit together okay i hope victor <laughs> sounds knows. very confusing <laughs> yeah it is a little bit confusing <laughs> even for me but yeah so um if you look in the diagram in a in a video you will see that we will now put the two mpttt's mpttt's um from the port side and starboard side that will go into a victron quattro's 3000 watts victron quattro so wow we will have 3 kilowatt of power on the boat and the Victorin Quattro is actually doing the, the inversion and the charge controlling at the same time so it actually sure. managed that at the same time so it's a charge controller and uh, inverter then we will also have lots of little items that we can have which is also from Victorin which is like a battery management system there's a color um, color controller that is actually doing all of the different things and it will actually using the 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 network there's an internal network that you connect it up and it will switch on the various uh, battery protectors so there's two types oh. of battery protectors so one battery protector is actually to say if we drain it too much then we will have um, something fixing it will actually offload the load so that the batteries is still protected then the other one is if we overcharge it by one of these controllers, the MPPTs, or the alternators, or the, the, the shore power, then it also disconnected so we don't overcharge oh, a battery. That's awesome. And then of course we will also have lots of different fuses um, at the battery point, the DC point, the AC point, the inputs, so there's a lot of fuses as well. More items. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, many things that can go wrong I think. So um, if uh, if something can goes wrong, it will go wrong. wrong. So I think there's a there is a lot of opportunity to go wrong. So I think we will need to have a couple of spares of these things. Of course, we cannot carry a, a spare inverter. We cannot carry a spare. Thank goodness we went for extra storage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and this is it for the battery system and lithiums and things like that. Supercharged. Supercharged. Um, we had a couple of a couple of queries. There were people asking why all these different exotic locations whenever we do a movie. <laughs> do you want to explain that to everybody? <laughs> well, yes, yeah, exotic. I'm not sure about exotic, but um, I'm working for United Nations inside Malawi, and, and I'm up here in well, in South Africa in Gauteng. So we thousands of kilometers apart. <laughs> Literally thousands of kilometers apart. So it's very rare occasions that we're together, which makes it very difficult for logistics. And also, since I broke my arm and my ribs was, five of them was broken, um, I always found refuge at my parents' place. So this is my parents' place here. And she can only come some of the weekends. She can come all and also visit here. So most of the time, she's actually in Pretoria. I'm now here in a free state, a little province inside South Africa. But my base is actually Malawi, Lelongwe, Malawi. It's time for you to get out of full screen. Hit the subscribe button if you have not done that before. And then next to the subscribe button, there's a bell button. Hit that bell button. And then please go and like our videos if you liked it. Thank you very much. And thank you for all the subscribers. Support us on Patreon. Like our pictures on Instagram. And follow us on Facebook to become part of our social active experience.